utility consulting, try and help keep the lights on and uh, a little extra support for, uh, for the utility system up in that area. So you're able to kind of balance the two between the football four wheels, a little bit of um, you know, the, the mainstream up in the oil field and a little bit of the more alternative energy healing with the reconnection work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try and uh, keep a little balance and stay in touch with both ends of uh, industry and the healing holistic world. So it's nice. And how do you find doing that, that having the balance working the two extremes? It's getting to be uh, a little bit of a juggling act. It's uh, the in the box, out of the box thing. It, uh, but it's it's okay, and it, uh, it helps to keep both perspectives and uh, keeps me in a different mix of people. So it's nice on the weekend to be around uh, the healing crowd and the holistic people, and then transfer that information and energy to the rest of the world that have tapped into it. So reconnection or reconnecting healing, is it, that's your, your main healing practice? Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about that? It's, um, last summer I was introduced to Dr. Eric Crow. We uh, spent a few weekends um, sharing little information on the healing. I had no idea of, I'd never practiced before, and it was just something that I was drawn to. Um, it's really uh, a powerful thing that uh, is uh, basically a gift. It's uh, like playing the guitar. I didn't know I could do it until he showed me, and it's been uh, quite a blessing to be able to lecture with other people. Wow. So you spend a lot of your time working up north around Coal Lake, Fort Wayne, Murray, up in the Northern Canadian oil sands. Um, how do you feel about what's happening up there? Mm, it's, it's really hard to, it's, to see people going through that and see the earth going through that. It's, uh, I uh, wasn't able to, to go in. The environment has a, a big effect on me, so working in polluted air and things like that, that's has has quite an effect on me, and I see it on others. So it's uh, um, it needs some attention, and people aren't uh, getting the truth. There's a lot of things that uh, are being hidden, so it, uh, it just. Uh, to be out there and see what's actually happening. That was one of the things that happened when I left. Um, there was a, a release that uh, ended up in an ammonia release that just about poisoned us on a project, and that's when I stopped. And I just couldn't go back to those type of projects. And it took about two months for the ammonia to get out of my system, but. It just uh, really, our bodies are a living organ, like we need to uh, be mindful of the environment that we live in, the air and the water and all of these things, uh, it's uh, very key to our survival. So what is reconnection again? It's providing a channel for, for healing, light and information to Pull through, so it uh, it's not uh, any type of technique or any any practicing. It's just uh, being present and allowing uh, that energy to flow through us. Um, I talk about a uh, relation to a guitar. Uh, a guitar that gets played for months on end and is not tuned sounds terrible and our body goes through tragedies and heartbreak and poor environment and we have no way of tuning it that, that we know of until now. And the alignment that this creates of our uh, um, nervous system is really uh, creates quite a shift.
So how is it to be up there, to be a light in the darkness, to still be on your path, and yet working amongst the, you know, in an area such as you do work? It's not um, the people, people always do the best they can with what they know. Mm -hmm. So uh, there are a lot of good people and we still, uh, we still need the resources to, to survive. It's just uh, looking at it, making the best of, uh, of what we do use and uh, using it wisely. And uh, there are a lot of good things that are happening as far as reducing emissions. You don't see the flare stacks as much as uh, used to. There's a lot of really uh, positive uh, moves to, uh, to clean up environmental right away use all of this stuff is uh, is really good actually yeah so so you do feel like we're starting to make steps in the right direction mm -hmm. yeah and it's actually faster than i expected like just the respect for wildlife and timing of projects things get shut down when it's caribou season those type of things that were marginally enforced now it's, it's not an option if, if it's a habitat area, you don't uh, work there at certain times of year. So it's, uh, it's coming and it's, uh, we kind of evolve at a slower, it takes patience and it takes uh, key people to, to really uh, see that and take responsibility and speak when they see that something that's not great. Do you feel that's being done? Do you feel that the um, like, like the attitudes within within the workforce? Do, do you think it's one of people are trying and making an effort, or is it are they resisting it, or what's the general attitude? Um, that's a tough one to say. It is. Uh, it's better than it used to be. I guess yeah. that's the best thing. It used to be. Uh, very neglectful, just to live in the moment type thing, and now it's uh, there's a lot more responsibility out there. You see companies using buses, they're using more efficient ways to move people around. The equipment doesn't sit there and run 24 hours a day, things like that. that uh, it's just a little more mindful, and it's, it's coming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See you hope. Do you feel like we'll make the, make the shift in time? Mm -hmm. That was, that was one of the, the bonuses of getting to see the big picture of crossing over. It's just, uh, yeah, I can see the end, I've got to see to the end of the book now. I can just yeah. come back and enjoy the words and then enjoy the moments of people. So what did you see at the end of the book? It's all, it's light. Yeah. 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 There's a light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. 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 Just, uh, so would you say you've been a seeker for a long time, or is this something that just came all at once? Or? Uh, it was a transition, I think. Uh, yeah. I was kind of the rebel. Yes. Doing the total opposite of what I was called to do, and seeing where that led to, and pretty well got to the end of that road and turned around. And started to, uh, to click once I had enough of the rebel routine. So, so when you say things started to click, how did that actually uh, transpire for, for you? Like, how did you know you were moving in the right direction? Uh, the synchronicities and just the feeling. Um, there was uh, uh, a lot of very like earth angel people would just cross my path and give me a card or give me something to uh, it was just people appear and say go check this out and I would go and I just kept following that that voice rather than doing the opposite of it and it, uh, go from the, what society sees as the, the perfect life with the picket fence and the family and all the uh, the things that society sees as successful, I just walked away with a few clothes and <laughs> took, 
had to uh, follow my heart, basically. That was uh, one of the one of my aunts gave me a note, and uh, I had come back, and it was on the desk, and said, "Follow your heart." And I just closed my suitcase and walked out. <laughs> that was I just left everything. Didn't uh, didn't take. Uh,